Today, I'm gonna to show you how to take your ordinary tofu and turn it into this flavorful, spicy, garlicky dish called tubu chorim. And let me tell you, all you need is a bowl of warm Korean rice and tubu chorim. You mix it all up together, and honestly, like, once it hits the lips, <laughs> You cannot stop. The spicy seasoning is amazing that even people that do not like tofu are gonna love, love this dish. And guess what? This is a shortcut recipe that does not require individually pan frying little pieces of tofu. We're gonna make it quick and fast and super delicious and into your belly. 오늘의 레시피 간단하고 아주 맛있는 두부조림 만들기 오늘도 여러분들과 양호를 함께 하겠습니다 Hi everyone, this is Helen and welcome to Modern Pepper 안녕하세요, Modern Pepper의 Helen입니다 The ingredient list is also available in the description box below as well as the Korean ingredients that you could order online for our spicy braised tofu dish, we need about one pound, that's 450 gram-ish, of firm or extra firm tofu. I want you to take a sheet of paper towel and fold it so that it is the width of our tofu block. And I want you to place it down on a colander like so. Then we're gonna take our tofu and lay it on top of the paper towel and our colander. I want you to take another piece of paper towel, fold it three ways like that, so it is right on top of our tofu. Then I want you to take a light, small plate and just place it on top like so, and let this hang out for about good 10 to 15 minutes so that it pushes out any excess water in our tofu. It's been 15 minutes, so let's take a look. And you'll notice that our top towel is very, very wet because it pulled the excess water from the top and our bottom towel as well. It's completely soaked, so that is very good. Now, the only thing we're gonna do is make slits on the top. We're not gonna cut all the way through. We're gonna cut like up to here, about halfway down from the top right here. And we're just gonna cut right to a little bit over halfway to the bottom. Turn it this way and we're gonna cut across. Same thing, about halfway down. Like, then we're gonna take a pinch of salt and just sprinkle it right on top, like so. To make our spicy seasoning sauce for our braised tofu, we're gonna start with one tablespoon of Korean red pepper flakes called gochugaru. Coarse ground is fine. Then to this, we're gonna add two tablespoons of jinganjang. So this is a stronger brew for braising. But if you can't get this, just use all-purpose Korean soy sauce. Half tablespoon of mirim, that's Korean cooking wine. If you can't have alcohol, just skip it. Half tablespoon of brown sugar. One tablespoon of freshly minced garlic. One scallion, green onions, finely minced. So you could also add fresh green or red peppers if you want to make this extra spicy. But for me, the gochukaru is more than spicy for me. This part's optional, but I'm going to add half a teaspoon of sogogi dashita. That's beef bouillon powder. Vegan friends use yandu instead, or you could also use MSG instead. Then we're going to add half a cup of water. Then I just want you to mix everything up and our seasoning sauce is ready. And we need half of a medium-sized onion. Set the heat to high. Place your medium-sized non-stick pan and let it preheat for about a good minute or two. Once your frying pan is preheated, I want you to add a generous amount of oil, about two tablespoons of oil. Then we're gonna place our tofu with the cut up part face down in the frying pan. And if you don't hear that sizzling sound, once the tofu hits the frying pan, that means you did not preheat your frying pan long enough. Now on high heat, fry our tofu until it is nice and golden brown. It's been like less than two minutes, but let's take a look. Oh yeah, that's the color that we want. Before we flip it over, we're gonna Salt this side and pick it up. 
and flip it over. Oh wow, look at that pretty color. So we're gonna brown the other side as well. Your heat still remains at high. And our onions that we cut up earlier, we're gonna add them to the side now. So when you braise your tofu with onions, it releases its natural sweetness and just makes the dish taste better. And we're also gonna add a little bit of salt to our onions, like that. Maybe a good two pinches of salt around. And about 30 seconds later, we just wanna move the onions around and notice how it's already turning nice and kind of golden brown. That's exactly what we want our onions to look like. So again, the heat is still remaining at high. And while the bottom of our tofu is sizzling away, what we're gonna do is take a spoonful of our seasoning sauce and try to like add it to the top in between where the cuts are like that. So it kind of seeps through. So it's been about a good minute. So what we're gonna do next is pour the rest of our seasoning sauce right on top. Oh yeah, you hear that sizzle? <gasps> it's gonna be so good. Then what we wanna do is quickly place the lid and bring down our heat to medium. And we're just gonna let this braise for five minutes on medium heat. And five minutes later, we're gonna turn off our heat completely and take a look. Ooh la la. I mean, who knew that tofu could look this meaty and delicious? Okay, so we need to quickly transfer this to a bowl and start eating. Then the only thing to do is sprinkle some sesame seeds on top, just a little bit. So less is always more when it comes to sesame seeds. And then for the finale, we're gonna drizzle a little bit of sesame oil on top. Oh my God, it smells so good in here. Oh, this smells so garlicky and spicy. I love it. <laughs> All right, let's have our first bite together. I always start with the corner, cut myself a little square like that. Always pick up one or two of the braised onions. Mmm, mmm. The tofu melts in your mouth, but then it also tastes meaty because both sides were fried to golden crisp. Oh wow. And the seasoning sauce is perfect for me. It's not too spicy because we didn't add this fresh peppers, which you could if you wanted extra spicy. But the gochugaru is just taking over my mouth and it's, wow, I'm starting to sweat a little bit. Of course, the way to eat this is with a bowl of Korean rice. Ah, uh, yeah. Then what you want to do is get some of this braising sauce on the bottom with our onions. Oh, this is the bomb. And you just pour it on top together like that. And then you go in and you break it up. This is how I like to eat it. And you mix it all up. And you make yourself a perfect spoonful like that. It's supposed to be a side dish, but for me, it's like a main entree. A spoonful of this is like literally braised tofu bibimbap. So simple, and I'm sorry, I just gulped in my mouth again because this is so flavorful. Oh. Mm. Mm. With warm Korean rice, it is perfection. Oh wow, it just hit all the spots for me. Oh, so yummy. And to make a perfect bite, all you need is a small piece of kimchi on top together, and then open your mouth. Here you go, let me feed you. <laughs> bon appetit everyone. Okay, so if you want to learn more Korean side dishes, make sure to go to youtube.com slash modern pepper and click on that playlist tab and select Korean side dishes panchan playlist and I will see you there. I want to thank you for watching today and if you enjoyed watching today's video, I want to kindly, kindly ask you to click on that thumbs up icon. Doing so does wonders for my channel, so I want to thank you in advance. 여러분 오늘 재밌게 보셨으면 꼭 좋아하는 버튼과 구독 버튼도 눌러주세요. 다음 영상에서 꼭 뵙겠습니다. 감사합니다. All right, folks, I will see you in one of the videos you see right here.